Hey, Cheers. everybody. Oh, my gosh. I am having a hot flash now. So, yeah. And I need to go on to, hang on a second, I need to go on to this other live and tell people where to go. How frustrating. I'm so frustrated right now, I can't even tell you. Good grief. You're doing a good job of holding it together. Yeah, I'm not. Hang on. Uh, let's see. All right. Go here for a second. Good grief. One more thing. Hang tight. Okay. Oh my gosh, if you guys knew how much coding goes into all of this before you do a live, that's why I usually do it in the morning and then to have to come in because I, I don't know what happened to my other stream. <laughs> Thank you, Chris. Chris says, we're hanging, you got this. Oh, Cheryl, I took a big breath. Wow, that was frustrating, like crazy frustrating. Hello, everybody. I'm Kelly Atchison at estampabuff.com, coming to you from a now beautiful and sunny Menasha, Wisconsin. I'm so happy you could join me tonight. I know there's going to be a lot of people looking for that live, and I have never had to go out of a live and come back in as a person watching a video, so I don't even know how to do that. Terry, I'm happy to see you here tonight. Sherry, yay! <laughs> Thanks, you guys. Thanks for your patience. Like I said, I thought I had it all together and then it just blows up in your face. We all know how this goes, right? All right, I'm going to try to get my iPad up here. So just give me a second and we'll see if I am on the right video. And I believe that I am. Okay, yay. That was a, that was a little painful. I'm not going to lie. It was a little painful. Uh... Okay, it looks like I am live. I got to open in the app, hang tight, and here are all my people. Yeah, Kathy says technology drives you crazy. It really does drive me crazy. And yes, um, who said that? Lana wants to know if that's Steve peeking in. It is Steve peeking in. <laughs> He's the one who came in when all this went down. I think it's probably his fault. <laughs> what do you think? Yep, I'm pretty yeah. sure. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, everybody. <clears throat> I just want to thank all of you for the cards and the well wishes and donations. And uh, yeah, a lot going on, stressed out. But uh, all the well wishes mean a lot to me and Kelly. So I wanted to say thank you. Have a good night. All right. Thanks, Steve. Steve wanted to make sure that he came in and did that personally. You guys have been so generous with your cards and gifts and messages coming in from literally all over the place. And we really do appreciate it. We are feeling the love for sure. Thank you, Carol, for the continued prayers. Yeah, we're not, um, we're, uh, yeah, it's been a, it's been a week or two. I'll tell you, there's um, a lot of things happening, nothing happening fast enough. Um, we're getting quotes in on the garage and trying to figure all that out and, uh, and yeah, dealing with all the things. So, but thank you guys so much. Like we really, really appreciate it. And, uh, I know I'm in a fabulous community, right? We all stick together and, uh, pick each other up, which is wonderful. So much appreciated. Yay. <laughs> We've got some things happening in the stamping world. We have a Join Now special going on. If you guys are not getting a discount on your products that you're buying from me, you should join my team and get a discount. My team is a super fun place to be. Right now, you can pay $99. Diane, thank you. <laughs> See, it threw me off. I forgot my crown. Oh my gosh. And you guys, look at this. Is it going to work? It's not going to work. Oh, I'm doing it upside down. I also have a wand. 
Thank you very much, Priscilla. <laughs> I, I was going to do the whole wand thing tonight and then everything fell apart. I promise I'll do better next time. <laughs> I got three of these and they are fantastic, right? So I had to get a wand to go with my Friendship Royalty stamp set, right? I know. I love it. Um, thanks. Thanks for the crown, the reminder of the crown. I had it right here on my desk, but then, you know, all the things happened. Starter kit, $99. You, Robin, thank you so much. You know what? Somebody gave me a tip last week. Robin just gave me a $20 tip. I really appreciate that. Somebody gave me a tip last week. I think two people did, but I could never find who it was. I saw it at the top, but I never knew. I couldn't find where to find out who did. So if it was you, thank you so much. Really appreciate it. Um, back to our regularly scheduled program. <laughs> $99. You get to choose $155 in any product you want. Completely customizable. Free shipping, which is fantastic, right? Oh, Judy, thank you for trying to find me and getting here. I'm telling you. It was a whole thing this time. Like, a whole thing. Mary's saying, come on, people. There are 350 watching right now and only 80 thumbs up. Give me a thumbs up. I really, really appreciate it. And Diane, I did see that your sister passed away, and I am so, so very sorry from the bottom of my heart. That is always so rough, right? I'm so sorry. Um, $155, you get to pick it out. You can't go over $155, and we really recommend that you do this on a computer, not an, um, an iPad or a notebook or any of those things or your phone. Sometimes it won't go through all the way. So here's my tip for you. I would really like you to write down the items that you're adding to your basket to get to your $155. Write the item code down just in case you get there and it doesn't work because you're not on a computer. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Anyways, being part of my team is fantastic. You will absolutely love it. There are so many things that go on behind the scenes that you guys never get to see. Um, so join, 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 get a discount on your products, be a part of something much bigger. We are a fabulous community of stampers here. We also, you guys have a designer series paper sale right now. Almost, I, I believe almost all the paper in the new annual catalog is 15% off right now. So I'm going to show you some, a couple of my favorites. One of my favorites tonight, I was designing before I came on with another one of my favorites, the Earth and Elegance paper. Oh, so beautiful. But I will be showing you that card um, at a, on a future live because it's going out to my helper to make swap cards and then she'll get it back to me and I'll be able to share it with you. So I was really killing it today. I'm telling you, I was getting things done today because you guys were leaving on Wednesday to go to San Diego. Steve's nephew, his oldest sister's oldest son is getting married. So we are going to the wedding and we're just, we're leaving on Wednesday. We're flying out of Milwaukee through Dallas and then to San Diego. And then we're coming back on Monday. So it's just a short little trip to go to Colin and Haley. It's her name, Colin and Haley's wedding. So I will not be live next Sunday night. Just want you to know that in case I forget to say something a little bit later. Also wanted to share with you Stamp Happy Academy is one of the best gifts you can buy yourself. This is, uh, um, has, it's a, it's a fabulous stamping um, website. And you get four online classes every month. Four new online classes. One, two, three, four. Yes, four. <laughs> every month for $19.95 basic membership for $34.95 um, premium membership. You also get to... Um, I'm watching the comments and they're throwing me off my game here. Um, you also get three live classes each month. Stamp Happy Academy is a fantastic website I do with my friends Dina and Barb. 
You will absolutely love it. Give it a try. It's so much fun and it's a great place for inspiration. Somebody just said that the um, screen was blurry and I'm watching on my iPad and my iPad isn't blurry. So it may be your streaming, not sure. But okay, I'm hearing from lots of people not, not, not blurry there. Um, the other thing I wanted to uh, let you know, somebody asked, where is the wedding being held in San Diego? I have no idea. I, I can't remember. I can barely remember that we're leaving on Wednesday. So um, when I get back, I'll be able to tell you all about it <laughs> prior to leaving. No clue. <laughs> That's how I roll, you guys. All right, John report. I just heard from Steve today that John is having his siding replaced from our fire in our garage, his siding melted on his house. He is having it replaced by a company that our friend Brody works for. So that's kind of fun. And um, John's insurance company is going to pay for it and then they're going to get in touch with our insurance company to be reimbursed. I guess that's how that all works. So that's good. Um, the guy was here for the motorcycles this week, but they're still sitting in our garage. Um, they had to come and see them and take note that they are completely demolished and useless and worthless. <laughs> and then what else? Um, we got one estimate in on our garage. We're still waiting for another one. And Fred is going to be giving us an estimate to put new windows in because my new windows, like my window broke. So that's not cool. And so did the other one on the other end of the house. Jackie's asking, how is the pool? I have no idea yet. We have not taken the cover off of it. The special wrench that you use to take the bolts out of the concrete and, um, open up the cover burned in the fire so we don't have that tool not that Steve couldn't go buy a tool but we just don't have it we don't want to take the cover off the pool until the garage is gone because we don't want all that debris that's going to be flying around to get into the pool and again it might not matter but if the pool is okay we'd rather keep all the icky stuff out of it as much as we can so we haven't opened it but <laughs> You guys can laugh if you want. I don't really care. I'm a big girl. Um, I did go and buy a little swimming pool. It's 13 foot round and it fills up to three feet. And I put my lawn chairs out there and a table and I am good to go for a little while. <laughs> Everybody thought I was a little crazy, but you know what? I need my swimming pool. <laughs> And somebody asked um, what caused the fire. It was it was listed as undetermined. There were so many hot spots in the garage that they really couldn't determine what happened. So um, we don't really know. No clue. <laughs> yeah, everybody's like, you go, girl. <laughs> exactly, right? Um, so I got a little tiny swimming pool, and it's been too cold here the last couple days, and I haven't actually gotten in the pool because it's not been that warm. I filled it up on one day when it was really hot and then it hasn't been that nice here. Like, I don't even know what the temperature is today, but it's probably 50 out there. I'm just kidding. It's probably warmer than that, but it's not nice. So no swimming pool for me. And I guess when we go to San Diego, it's supposed to be in the low 60s um, or high 60s, low 70s. So that's not really very warm either, is it? I thought San Diego had, well, they probably have beautiful weather for normal people, right? <laughs> Beautiful weather for me is like 85 and above. <laughs> oh, Mary says it's 55. And Mary, you're in Wisconsin. So, right? Yeah, I think I think you're in Wisconsin. So, yeah, it's not very nice here. But um, anyway, so we have a whole bunch of stuff happening this week. I've been trying to find a dress to wear for this wedding. And I went over to my friend Rachel's house and she gave me a whole bunch of clothes to try on. And I found two that might be okay I don't know. I'm not too excited about it. My weight loss thing didn't go that well. <laughs> not going to lie. <laughs> so, oh well. It is what it is, right? Yeah. I should be back in Florida, Judy says. Yes, Judy. What is that temperature in Florida today? I would love that. Yeah, Michelle says they have June gloom, but it isn't too cold. 
Yeah, so I've never been to San Diego, but I am kind of a fan of zoos. And I thought, oh, that would be really fun to go to the San Diego Zoo. I've watched it on TV a lot. I don't know. We'll, we'll see what's, what's happening. Amy says, me too. The hotter, the better. Yeah. We have fabulous prizes to give away. Make sure you give me a thumbs up, you guys. I have a whole bunch of people watching me right now. And less than half with that like button. So click on that like button. That really helps me out. And um, someplace on your screen, there's a place where you can share this video. And I would love it if you'd share my video. It really helps me grow my business and get out to people that may not know about me. We want everybody to know about me, right? <laughs> or maybe not. No, you do. You guys do. Jan says it's a great zoo. Barbara said I should. The St. Louis Zoo is the best. I've never been to the St. Louis Zoo. I've been to the Kansas City Zoo because we. I kind of grew up there when I was a kid. Yeah, thanks for the like and share, everybody. So, prizes. It's prize time. Let's do this. I like it. <laughs> we have the Fun Flower Resin Shapes. What'd you say? Do you have 12 by 12 in color paper? I don't think you do. I do. You do? Not the new colors. Well, that's what I did. Maybe go look over there. I don't, I, I don't know. I just put them on my order. Sorry. Oh. Sorry, we were just interrupted by Haley, who is doing her scrapbooking pages right now. <laughs> we have fun flower resin shapes to give away. This is for commenting on my last live. So, Please, please leave a comment. If you're new to me, just say hello or where you're from. We always love to know that. Somebody said, who just said that it was 90 degrees, Barb says. It was 90 degrees, Barb. That's where I need to be right now is where it's 90 degrees. <laughs> Paula loves my wand. I know. I got three of these from Priscilla. I might have to share with Val and Dawson, not oh, lying. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Goes, oh, yeah, you will. <laughs> so, anyways, let's keep going here. Um, Margaret Burkett from Bloomington, Illinois. These are going to be on their way to you. Thank you, guys, everybody who commented on my last live. Now, this is a compilation of commenting on YouTube and Facebook. So um, all everybody's entered. Everybody gets put into the drawing. So thank you so, so much, Margaret. Next up, we have a pack of good things, cards and envelopes. There are 20 cards. Yeah, I'm looking at it to make sure I'm not going to lie to you. 20 cards and 20 envelopes in here. Love these little packs. It makes card making so easy. This is called Good Things Cards and Envelopes. This is for sharing my last video. Thank you so much to all of you. Kathy Goodnow of Gorham, Maine. These are going to be on their way to you. So excited to be sending you a prize. Thank you, Betty, for the share. Thank you guys for the shares. I really appreciate it. Next up is at the pond. This is a stinking, adorable little stamp set. This is an exclusive stamp set. And this stamp set is for placing an order with me since my last live. So everybody that places an order gets entered in a drawing to win this stamp set. I have Edie Richardson of Bloomington, Indiana that is going to see this in her happy mailbox. Yay! I noticed tonight too that Margaret was from Bloomington, Illinois, and Edie is from Bloomington, Indiana. And the only Bloomington that I was thinking of was Minnesota. So <laughs> lots of Bloomingtons, right? Yeah. Okay, let me set these over to the side so I do not lose track of them. I wanna make sure I get them out in the mail before I leave on Wednesday. Okay, what else is happening? Um, I talked to you about joining my team. It is so much fun. It's only $99, you guys. You get to choose $155 in product. Join. It Check it out. It Try it. it. It's so fun. I can see I have a ton of my team members on here right now. You guys, is it not the best team ever? Let's hear from you. We'll convince you guys. Uh, my kit class for uh oh uh my kit class for the month uses the gorgeously made bundle and i am going to be using that tonight 
for the impossible card. I have two that we're going to make tonight. Yay! The Funfold Impossible card. You guys will recognize this when I show you the original that I got in the mail. And everybody said, show us how to make it. Show us how to make it. So I am granting your wish tonight. Um, my class that I do with Barb and Dina is using the Zany Zoo. And do I have that right here? I do. Zany Zoo bundle, you guys. Super, super fun cards. These are not just for kids. Like, if I sent this Lyle Lyle Crocodile to any one of my friends or family, they would get a big kick out of it. It doesn't have to be about children. And look at the, the knitting. Is that a llama or an alpaca? I don't know. Don't get too close. This spit in your face. <laughs> Margaret said she just ordered Zany Zoo. You just ordered Zany Zoo, Margaret. This is such a fun stamp set. Okay, so I have two classes going. Registration for the Gorgeously Made. Oh, and that was... I had that under my live video, the link that didn't work right. So I will put it under this video when we get off of here again. See, I had all my ducks in a row. I was going to tell you, look under the video in the description and you will find a link to this class. Not anymore, right? That's what you get for doing things ahead of time. <laughs> Anyways, um, the Zany Zoo class, I do not have registration open for that unless you're a member of Stamp Happy Academy. If you are, you can register for it through that. But I haven't put it on my blog. I haven't sent it out in an email yet. But... Gorgeously Made is on my blog, and you will find that at www.estampabub.com. I lost my ducks. I know, right, <laughs> Judy? Um, yeah, I think that is... Oh, I wanted to let you guys know. In, in the past, I would put a Buy Now button on my blog or in my emails where you could order just the PDF file for my classes. And um, PayPal took away that option and made it highly complicated to add in the HTML coding to do a buy now button. So I have incorporated it into my registration form. It's something you guys aren't used to, right? So you used to be able to just buy now. PayPal would charge you and it would email me. I'd send you the file. Now you have to register just like you're going to buy a kit or the kit with the bundle. Now there's by the PDF. So just wanted to make sure you know that. I don't know why PayPal did that. I'm sure they have a reason and I don't have to like it. Right? Urgh. Messing with us all the time. Technology is always messing with us. Okay. I think that we are ready to stamp. I am going to turn you guys around so you can see my desk and we can get started with some fun cards. I'm so excited. I sent pictures of these to Haley tonight and she was like, oh, they're so cool. Uh-oh. Oh, oh, hang on. There we go. I'm like, please, no more problems. We've had enough of that. So my guilty pleasure this week, besides Naked and Afraid, which is my trashy reality. <laughs> Haley's laughing. My trashy reality show that I like to watch. Hang on. I got to get this straightened out, you guys. Um, that looks good. I started watching Joe Millionaire <laughs> for richer, for poorer. Good grief. That was sometimes a drama fest, but it was, it was good. It kept my attention, which is, you know, sometimes kind of a battle, right? So it was, it was a good reality show. Um, I would watch another season of it. <sighs> this is so beautiful. Like, so, so beautiful. I see my... Hang on. I'm going to move my camera again because it's kind of crooked. I don't like that. Hang tight. I hope nobody's throwing up. I don't want to make anybody sick. This is the Masterfully Made Designer Series Paper. This is on sale. Item code 161192. Um, when you go to my online store, which you can find on my blog, there's a shop with Kelly button. If your order is under $150, please use this host code. That gives me the benefits to be able to buy door prizes and stuff like that, or help me buy door prizes. 
If your order is over $150, do not use this code. You're gonna get some rewards from Stampin' Up! and I definitely want you to have those rewards. But if your order is under $150, you're not gonna get any rewards. Nobody gets any rewards unless you use that host code and I certainly appreciate it. All right, here we go. Gorgeously, masterfully made designer series paper is part of the gorgeously made suite. And we have this beautiful stamp set. I like kind of shabby chic stamp sets like this. And then we also have these dies, which are like, oh, the notebook top. This makes a notebook. We're gonna be using it tonight, so I'll be able to show you what it does. We've also got this big leaf sprig and this big like um, succulent type bulby little leaf sprig and a torn edge and then a torn edge label, which is pretty cool. Uh, let me see if I can get this back on here properly. Mm, I probably did it wrong. Yeah, I did. I'm not very good at putting these back where they belong. That's why they just flop around in here. I'll just leave them out. But this is what we're gonna use to make our impossible card. I'm gonna put my little cheat sheet up here so I know what to tell you guys. And we are also going to be using the pastel, pastel adhesive backed sequins, which are super pretty. We're gonna use the gold ones, which you can tell I've used quite a few of them. So those are really nice. And we're going to use the uh, Petal Park Builder Punch. We're making two different cards. So some of these things we're not using on the first card that I make. We will use it on the second. I've got Berry Burst and Bubble Bath. That's for our first card. And then I think we're using um, Berry Burst, Pretty Peacock, and Crush Curry on the second one. But I'll bring these back out when we need them. I have my stamp sets mounted here. Ouch. That almost cut me. These little boxes are kind of really battered and beaten up, and I almost, like, poked myself here to bleed. That's not good. Okay. Uh, here comes our first card. Have any of you ever made an impossible card? I know I made one um, a few years ago, but it, it's it's been quite a while, I have to tell you. So I had to kind of start all over, like I didn't know what I was doing. <laughs> we are going to be using, let me show you here. This is, whoops, let's put that down. Um, the paper that we're using is, I don't know which one it is. This one, no, this one right here. I bet you that's it. Or maybe it's, no, it's this one over here. So anyways, we've got these, oh, that's a scrap. Here we go. Let me get out the actual pack. That'll make more sense. It's hard to see some of the patterns on this paper when you only have the little two inch spots. Look at that. Whoa. This is all torn paper. And this is part of the gorgeously made kit for my kit class this month. Look at how pretty that is, you guys. Like, good grief. Isn't that just beautiful? And then we have, oh, I already showed you that one. Yep, look at this. Lemon lime twist. Oh, all of these flowers are made with torn paper and then photographed. Like, I think it's the coolest thing ever. Hang on, I'm having a problem. Put this back in here, maybe. Let's see what this is. Oh, look at how gorgeous that is. <gasps> Isn't it so, so pretty? So pretty. There's the back. This is gorgeous paper. Like, as soon as I saw it, I knew I had to use it for something. Look at that. All torn paper. All these stems are torn. So beautiful. Okay, and I think I'm close to the end here. Oh, is this? Nope, that's the one I just did. Is this one? Yep, we already showed you that. And I'm pretty sure that I'm kind of out of some of these. Like this one? Yeah. Okay, let me get this put away so we can make a card. Right on the floor it goes. I have to tell you guys, <clears throat> excuse me, I cleaned my office this week. 
It is amazing. Is it amazing, Haley? It's amazing. It's amazing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I finally got my you-know-what together and got it cleaned up. So we're going to start off with our envelope. And I've got, hang on, i got to... I've got a medium basic white envelope and this piece of designer paper I'm gonna to use to cover my envelope flap. This is two and a half by six. And I love doing this because I think that as crafters, if you're not decorating your envelopes, and sometimes I don't have time if I don't do it like right now, right? Um, sometimes you're gonna get an envelope from me that is not decorated. And that's because it was a matter of get it in the mail, or it could have a possibility of never getting in the mail. <laughs> so you want the card in the mail, right? But 99% of the time, I decorate my envelopes. Bye, Haley. Bye, Mom. Haley came over and she worked on her scrapbook pages from a paper pumpkin kit and shot a video and left already. <laughs> Yeah, she is a teacher, so she's off for the summer, which is so nice, right? Yeah, look at how pretty that is. Isn't that just going to make somebody pretty when they are pretty? <laughs> It'll make somebody pretty. Make somebody really happy when they open up their mailbox. Like, they're going to just absolutely love this. And I am looking at my thing here and wondering why it's telling me silly things on my screen. I'll ignore it. I know you guys are here. Okay, here comes the rest of our pieces. We have Berry Burst, four and a quarter by five and a half. <clears throat> One by five and a half. Then we have Designer Series Paper. This paper is three and a quarter by four and an eighth. This piece is three quarters by five and a quarter. And we're gonna do this. Whoops, I just dumped something on the floor. We're gonna add this to this layer right now. So I don't lose it and we know what's going on. Get that on there straight. So, whoo, so far so good, right? Hang on, I just dropped some stuff. We also need two pieces of basic white and these are not written down. I wonder why, oh yeah, they are. <laughs> one and seven eighths by three and a quarter. And all of these dimensions will be on my blog right here once I get this video done and I take pictures and you have to give me some time when we're done and then we'll get it all loaded on there. So you'll see still photos and all the dimensions. And there'll even be a shopping list, you guys, telling the ink colors and the names of all of these things. So if you have any questions, you can check out that um uh blog post hang on i gotta go live hang on I'm, my um there we go i don't know why youtube watch listen stream i think i'm live now okay good my thing wasn't live all right so here's what we're gonna do i made up a template for you guys this is the piece we're using right now and it says it's five and a half by four and a quarter the first thing we're going to do is we are going to score it at two and an eighth. And if you have any questions about measuring, go out on Google and um, say one inch ruler. This will pop up and you can print this out. But one eighth is the bigger line in between zero and one quarter. So one eighth. We're going to score this at two and an eighth. Two and one eighth. Now this card looks horrible horribly complicated, but it really isn't. So stick with me. And I'm going to dare you guys to make one of these because they are really not that hard. Here we go. Scoring blade, scoring at two and an eighth. And then the next thing we need to do is we need to cut it at two and three quarters down to the score line. So let's do that. Push it over here to two and three quarters. And we are going to cut from the top down to the score line. Is that close enough? Yep, that's it, okay. Next, what we're gonna do is we are going to cut from the bottom up at one inch just on this bottom panel. So I'm gonna 
I'm gonna, whoops, hang on, while I stab my paper to death. I'm gonna put it over to one inch and I'm going to cut up to that score line right there. I'm gonna turn it around and I'm gonna cut up to the score line at one inch. So here's what we have. We have a fold at two and an eighth. We have a cut at two and three quarters and then one inch side panels. Does that make sense, you guys? Not too bad, right? Okay, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this and we're gonna, oops, hang on, let me think about this. Oh yeah, this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna take this and we're gonna twist it like that. This is our card. Here it is flat. And now we're gonna, hang on, let me think about this. I'm gonna think about this for just a second. I want my panel right here. We're gonna twist it this way. You could twist it either way, but here's our impossible card. Okay, let's do it again. We're gonna just take this part and twist it like that, and this is our card. So stick with me. Don't get freaked out. I promise it's pretty simple. Now we're gonna take our designer series paper, and I've also made a little template for that. Okay, and it shows us exactly what we're gonna do here. And I'm looking for, oh, there's my second card. Okay, so it tells us that we need a cut line at two and a sixteenth of an inch. Sixteenth of an inch is the little one between the zero and one eighth. Don't let measurements freak you out. Get your, print yourself out one of these giant inches. It'll help you so much. So I see on here that I need to cut from three quarters of an inch over to three quarters of an inch, two and one sixteenth down. So here we go. And I am going to go to two and one sixteenth, one notch, and I'm going to get my head up here so I can see what's going on. I'm gonna start at three quarters of an inch Ready, push it down, and I'm gonna go up to two and a half inches, just like that. So I've cut a slit from three quarters down to two and a half inches at two and one sixteenth. Now we're gonna turn it this way, and we're gonna go in three quarters of an inch, it says it right there, three quarters of an inch, and we're gonna cut down to that cut line. Let's see where my little cut line is. Right there, I felt it, okay? And we're gonna do the same thing from the bottom up at three quarters of an inch, inch here. And I also took pictures, you guys, of these templates, and those will be on my blog also, so that when I, when you take my challenge to make this card, you will know exactly how to do it. All right, ready? There you go, that's all we did. Boom, just like that, okay? All right. I'm gonna set that over here. I'm gonna keep these handy because we're gonna do another card just so that you can get really, really good at this. All right, here comes some stamping. I should have, uh, I've got a scrap of bubble bath and a scrap of berry burst. We're gonna get those dies out. We're gonna take this die and we're gonna die cut it on here and we're gonna die cut it on here. But first, we are going to stamp with Berry Burst, You're a Great Friend. We're gonna stamp that right on here. We are going to die cut it with the little label die. And then we're gonna die cut this and we're gonna die cut this, okay? So we're gonna get all of that die cut. Here's one, here's two, here's three, okay? I don't know what's happening. Oh, okay, now it's working. Thumbs up, thank you. I am, hang on you guys, I'm so far behind on my comments that I'm not seeing them coming from you. I don't know why, is that live? 
think it is. Oh, it must be. Okay, so we've got that done and that done. We're gonna take one of these white pieces and we're gonna grab this really fun, like a little notebook shadowy type crazy image. I don't even know what it is, but I like it. We're gonna ink that up in the Berry Burst and I'm gonna put that right on the bottom of one of these. These are two basic white pieces that are three and a quarter by one and seven eighths. And we're gonna do it, I'm gonna turn it around so I can see better. Again, right there. Ooh, I did pretty good. And then the other one, we're going to use the bubble bath ink. And this kind of half there, half not typed letters. And I am going to stamp off once, and I'm gonna stamp this right up here in the corner, and I'm gonna stamp off again and stamp it right down here. So, just very, very faint. This is gonna be the piece that we're gonna write on for this card. So I didn't want anything too dark. I wanted it to be nice and light. Close these up. There we go. And I'm gonna clean my stamps because we're gonna be using these again. And again, this is the stamp set bundle paper that I'm using for my kit class this month. So I wanted to give you two beautiful um, ideas that you can make on your own. The cards that I'm making here are not part of the kit. You get um, four different designs for that, two of each card you get to make for a total of eight cards. And I think that kit is $55 or $56. So I'm going to bring my dimensionals in, and I'm going to add them to the back of my you are a great friend label. Now I don't want to throw anything on my floor because it's really, really clean. I didn't wash it, but I vacuumed it and it looks great. It's probably filthy, but we, we won't tell anybody, okay? <laughs> so yeah, now I want to throw things in the garbage. So here's one of our white panels. Here's the other white panel. And we are going to grab these two pieces that we made. One of them is gonna go right here. And one of them is going to go right here. Isn't that just like flipping magic, right? Now, one thing I found is that when you put these on here, you're gonna kind of butt this right up against this fold of this flap. But it seems like sometimes this part is a little long just trim it a tiny little shave off of it in your paper trimmer if you find that that happens. Just shave a little bit off that little piece and a little bit off that piece. And when I say that piece, I mean your designer series paper to make your borders even. Sometimes it, it seems like it's a little bit too long and other times it's perfect. And I don't really know why, but I thought it's easy enough to shave off a little bit of that and not sit here and waste another half an hour trying to figure out why it's doing that. I just, that's a waste of my time. <laughs> so we can, we can um, make adjustments, right? We're good at that. And then you wanna make sure that you're butting this up against your um, panel. And I, and I like to do that so I don't go over it either because I don't want it to interfere with this part standing up because that's what your impossible card is. Now watch this. We're going to make another one of these. So if you kind of missed what's going on here, you'll get to see it again. Don't worry. Here comes this layer. And if you wanted to jazz up your card, I could have put another layer under this white one and just made the white one a little smaller to make more colors happening. And then I'm going to look at this one. This is the panel, like I said, that we can write on. That goes right here on the back. So here's our back. Here's our front. We're, oh, darn it, Kelly, what did you do? Hang on, I gotta make an adjustment. I forgot to do one thing. Like, what are we gonna do with all those dies? Okay, we're okay here. Now what I'm gonna do is, I'm looking at this. 
you can't really read these words, but I can see like the word every and instead. You wanna make sure that your words are right side up. That's what I recommend. You can't really read what's here, but you can see if it's upside down. And then I'm just gonna put some, whoops, some glue. <laughs> that was lucky, right? Some glue on here and here. And this is gonna be kind of like a bridge. This kind of just holds our card together nicely. So cool. I love this. Okay, so hang with me. We got some more things to do. So I wanted to tuck these in behind. So I'm going to do this. And you can just cut these little things apart a little bit. And... Can somebody type something in here? I don't think my messages are working. I'm gonna try opening. Oh, they weren't. Sorry, you guys. I don't know what was going on there. Hang on. Oh, here they come, you guys. I haven't been seeing them. I'm like, what is going on? Now I found you. Okay, if you're gonna tuck anything in here, you wanna make sure that whatever you tuck isn't going over when you have this laying down. It can't go over this edge because it won't fit in an envelope. So that's something to really keep in mind. And I'm going to just trim this a little bit because it's kind of getting in my way. And we're going to figure out, okay, so this is going to be perfect right there, okay? Then I want some of my little pink too. I want lots of little spriggy things happening here. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to just cut some of these out and then I'm going to go with some pink ones to interlap with my berry burst ones. But again, you have to make sure that these are all going to stay within the confines of your base so that they will fit in an envelope. Hang on. You know what? I forgot to talk to you guys about, I got my nails done yesterday, maybe? Look at how pretty they are. I got taupe, and then I got that daisy again with some blue, because I think I'm going to wear a dress that has blue in it, and then a little taupe lightweight cardigan. What do you think? Pretty cool, huh? Yeah, I'll never forget when I was talking about my nails one time on this with you guys, where some lady says, is this a craft show or a nail show? <laughs> you remember that cranky lady? Yeah. <laughs> it's like, well, it can be anything we want it to be, can't it? Now I'm just going to add some glue in here. I'm just going to put, I'm going to try to hang on to this and just add a little glue under there and make that, yay, it'll keep all those, look at how pretty that is. Isn't that so pretty? I love those sticking out there. Now, this one might not survive getting opened, right? Because it's going to get bent. So you can cut that off if you want. I'm just going to put a little glue in here. Glue that down. I think I'm probably going to cut this one off so it doesn't get all wonky in there. You do what you got to do. Here we go. There's our super fun little edge. And then we got to do the same thing on the other side. So I'm going to put just a little bit less of the viney things on the other side. I'll just cut that off right there. And then I'll trim this up just a little bit so it doesn't look weird. Look at you'll never you never even know that I did that, right? And then we'll get a little pink one. Now you can use these for another card. Like I couldn't bear to throw this away. <laughs> so I will put this in with my, I'll put these, these are leftover. I'll put this in my case so I can use it on another card if I use the same colors. All right, so before you glue this whole white piece down, don't forget to put these in there. Oh, I have to tell you guys a story. This probably is not something Steve would like me to tell you, but I'm going to anyways because we're all friends, right? So Steve went up to South Park. First of all, he had to go get a new chainsaw. He had two chainsaws, but he brought one home from, he keeps one here and one at South Park. And oftentimes he will take the chainsaw with him from here because um, if there's a tree down over the road, you know, this South Park, our property is out in the middle of nowhere on a logging road. Like it's not even a real road to get in there. But um, 
So anyways, he he had both chainsaws home and they both burned up in the garage, which is like great, right? So he took, um, he went and bought a new chainsaw, got up to South Park and he had a tree to cut that was laying in the yard. The chainsaw wouldn't work. <laughs> there was a manufacturer's defect. Something wasn't connected or whatever. Anyways, in the middle of the night, he had to go to the bathroom and we have an outhouse. So he got up and he grabbed his shotgun and he grabbed his spotlight and he walked out of the camper and there were, I can't remember if he said green eyes or blue eyes. One color of eyes are deer and the other color of eyes are bear. And there was a bear and two cubs out there. <laughs> yeah, isn't that crazy? Okay, so here's so far, here's our card. Next, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this punch. This is the Petal Park Builder Punch. And we are going to punch out some flowers out of the scrap of the gorgeously made designer series paper. I'm looking for my little sheet. Masterfully made, that's what I was looking for. It's not gorgeously made. The stamp set is gorgeously made. The paper is masterfully made. Okay, so here comes our flower. So anyways, the bear, yeah, I'm gonna turn this over so it's just this pink side because it won't go with my other colors in here. Anyways, the bear and two cubs just kind of hung out and just kept an eye on him. <laughs> but that's why when you get up in the middle of the night out in the wilderness that you take a gun with you. <laughs> yeah. Uh-huh. So he had to take the chainsaw back and get a new one. Yeah. It's like, gosh, you know, you just can't. Sometimes you just can't catch a break. And that's what he was going there for was to get away from here and stop looking at his burned down garage, which just smacks him in the face every time he goes out the door. So he was going to go have some peace and quiet at South Park, which is, like I said, out in the middle of the woods, in the middle of nowhere, down a logging road. And he was going to cut up a tree that was in down in the yard. And he couldn't even do that because, well, the chainsaw, brand new chainsaw wouldn't work. Yeah, he was a little frustrated, a little bit. Okay, here we go. I got to go to Val's T-Ball this week, last last week. Oh my gosh, so stinking cute. She's batting that ball. She's like, she's going to be like a crazy baseball girl. And she starts soccer on Tuesday. So I'm going to go to soccer to help Haley, because Haley doesn't know if Val goes and does soccer on her own or if Haley has to help her. So you see how I took my bone folder and I curled the edges of this flower up to give it some dimension? Then I put a dimensional under this last, the tiniest flower. You could put dimensionals in between all of them, but I just wanted to do it on that little one. And now I'm gonna put some glue right here and I'm gonna set that flower down right on here. Oh my gosh, what do you guys think? Is this not just so, so pretty? So this is an impossible card. And in order to, you, you will write on it here. When people open it up, it'll get mailed like this. It fits right inside of our pretty little envelope. It'll go right in here. And with this, you're gonna have to tuck and push and whatever so you don't like destroy your little things. But when your person gets it, they won't have to worry about it too much, right? Look at that. They're just gonna pull it out and it pops right up like this. It sits right on a table like that and this kind of stays popped up. It's super, super cool. And I wanna show you where I got the idea from. Rhonda McGuire sent this card with the Hello Irresistible designer series paper and that big thank you. And then here's where she wrote on it. This is the exact card, except it goes the other way, right? This one, oops, this one went like this. And hers is just the opposite with the hole here. So I'm going to show you how to do that too. But isn't this so, so pretty? Now, while I'm getting myself cleaned up and reset here, I'm going to put this out here again. 
This is everything you need to know. We've got the cutting lines are solid. The score lines are dashed. So this is a score line. This is a cutting line, cutting line, cutting line. And then this is a cutting line. Okay. So hang on because I've got another really pretty card to share with you. And I'll get myself, whoops, let me put that back there. I'll get myself reset here. So we can do this one. Well, this is the one where I'm going to use, where did my inks go? Right here. I'm gonna use the Berry Burst, Crushed Curry, and Pretty Peacock. And then we're gonna do some different colors here. Little bit different design. I thought with this card, I think it would be better for you to see me make this twice so that you can go, oh, okay. And I'll tell you, I made mine the first time on these scraps right here before I did anything. I actually made two of this and two of this and cut it apart to make sure everything would fit so that I wouldn't look like a complete moron while I'm trying to share with you how to make one. <laughs> right? Like, that's a problem. So here we go. Here's our one inch by five and a quarter, and here's our three quarters, no, one inch by five and a half. Here's our three quarters by five and a quarter, and I'm using this beautiful, beautiful, beautiful paper. Look at this. Oh, that just makes my heart so happy. I can't even tell you. So I am going to add this right to my little one inch strip. Did I tell you guys I have a ton of mail to share with you too? Like so many pretty cards. I love sharing cards with you that people send me because they're just so creative and pretty and uh. And this card that we're making tonight came from Rhonda McGuire. It was a thank you card. And then I was able to share it with you guys. So keep sending me cards. I love getting ideas from the cards that you send me. Okay, isn't that so pretty? Oh, so pretty. Practice makes perfect, Deb says. That is right. Okay, my messages from you guys seem to be coming up just fine now. If somebody asked me a question and I did not answer it, could you please ask it again? Seems like you could put a calendar on the center square. Oh, you know what? That's a really good idea. Who just said that? I just read it and now I can't find it. it. Must have popped up really quick. Um. Oh, Chris did. Chris, that's a really good idea. Um. I don't know if this is big enough, but let me show you. This is my size of calendar, and this is a little small. But you can get smaller calendars. This isn't the smallest calendar, so that might be a really good idea. I love it. I always love resourceful ideas like that, right? Look at how pretty that envelope flap is. Like, is this not, it's this paper just makes me go, oh my gosh, it's so pretty. All right, so next thing we're gonna do, we are going to take, let me see. This little piece right here is in lieu of the white. <clears throat> so instead of a white layer, I've got this. And I think I was supposed to have two of those. I was. We'll figure it out. Um, what we're going to do with this one is we're going to grab the notebook die. So here's the notebook die. And we're just going to put that right to the edge. And we're going to run this through our die cutting machine. And when we do that, it's going to look just like this. Don't you love that? I love that. Okay, and then we'll use this for the back. So we've got the front, <clears throat> excuse me, and the back. And then we've got a scrap here of crushed curry. And I am going to use that for you're a great friend. Oops, I need to use a different color of ink, not crushed curry that really won't show up on there very well. I need pretty peacock. So I'm gonna do this. 
Perfect. And then we're going to take, you have two of these pieces that are three and a quarter by one and seven eighths. We're gonna take the one that we didn't do the notebook edge on and that kind of type worn image in crushed curry. And we're gonna stamp that right on here just like we did with the bubble bath on the other card. And this is gonna be our layer that we can write on, okay? So we've got both of those done. We're gonna take this and use the die to cut out your a great friend. <clears throat> Excuse me. And when we do that, we're gonna get this. And then we're gonna take this particular die and we are going to die cut it out of Pretty Peacock. And when we do that, we get this. Whoops, there we go. Very, very pretty, right? Last but not least, before we start putting things together, I'm gonna take the tiny little hello and I am going to stamp it on this white scrap. This is just a basic white scrap. We've got hello. By the way, this is a chamois, if you guys have never seen one. Um, you just rinse it out with water, you squeeze it under the sink until it runs clear, and this is how I clean my stamps. It's called a Stampin' Chamois, I think. You can find this in my online store. I think they're like, I don't know, $8 or something, but they are fabulous. I love them. All right, let me get this closed up. Then we're going to do Hello Again with the uh, Lost Lagoon, or Pretty Peacock, I mean. And then we'll do it again with the berry burst yay okay so we've got three pretty colors there and they kind of go along with all these colors right and what we're going to do is we're just going to snip these out i think i hear steve and Haley outside talking i thought she left already Did I tell you guys she joined my team? Ah, proud mama. She is going to be concentrating on scrapbooking. So fun. And she loves to scrapbook. And of course, she's fantastic at it. So she is going to be using paper pumpkin kits to make one kit to make four pages a month. And she's hoping that people will order paper pumpkin from her. And that's how she's going to start her Stampin' Up! business. And I think it's a fantastic idea. I love her scrapbook pages. Scrapbooking used to be like all the rage and then it kind of fell off and it's coming back. Not as many people do it anymore, which is kind of nice to have somebody who's going to be sharing some really great ideas, right? It's a way to get things started again. Okay, so here's our little pieces. Now, you guys know with our mini dimensionals that the edges are really wide. These make good little snippets to put on these tiny little pieces. Dad, just beat me in cribbage. No. Oh, no. No, I'm actually leaving. Oh, okay. All right. Love you. Love you, too. <gasps> Bye. Bye. I was just talking about your scrapbooking. Oh, talk about it some more, why don't you? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Smart girl. So that's why she was still out there. They were playing cribbage. That's a good thing to do, right? So here goes my little strips of dimensionals. Uh-oh. Oh, here it is. Whew. And then, oh, that didn't work out. Hang on. Will she have a YouTube channel? Yep, she already has a YouTube channel. She just joined last week. I can't even remember what day, Wednesday or Thursday. She's already got a YouTube channel. She already created a blog. She's got a business page called Ink with Fink on Facebook ink with fink on youtube you guys should go follow her that'll make her day all right so here's all our bits and pieces you guys i'm going to take this little notebook die cut edge piece and i'm going to put this on it and 
I am going to kind of take a look at how much of this I'm going to put on there. And I think I'm going to cut it right about there. So I'm just going to hold my finger here and add some glue to the back. If you have any adhesive sheets, this would have been a great time to use them before we die cut this, but I always forget, you know how I am. Some of you are really good and diligent about stuff like that, and I'm just tend not to be, I forget. So I'm just adding a little bit of glue here, and I'm gonna bring my finger back up here so I know where we're gonna cut this off. And remember, you can't go taller than this because you need it to fit inside of a envelope, but you can go off the side. So we're gonna push that down. I have glue on my fingers. And we are going to cut, this one's coming right off. Boom, see you later. Okay, there we go. Here's our little leafy things. And then what we're gonna do with all of these is we're going to add those over here to the side. And I'm just gonna kind of put them on here kind of randomly. I don't want them to look perfect because here's a little secret. When you try to get things to be all lined up and look perfect, oftentimes you fight with them. Whereas if you make them not perfect, you don't have to fight, right? Look at how cute that is, right? Okay, so we have that done. We have our label done. We have our back layer done. Let's get our card together here. I have already taken the liberty of cutting this one, but I'm gonna show you again just how to do it. First thing you wanna do is you want to find my template. Here it is, I'm like, where did it go? We're gonna bring our template out so you can follow along with that. So we're gonna, we're gonna score at two and an eighth inches. So I'm gonna put this in at two and an eighth. We are going to use our scoring blade, boom, scored. Then we're going to turn it this way and we're gonna cut two, two and three quarters inches in to the score line. So we're gonna go up to two and three quarters inches. We're gonna take our cutter and we're gonna cut down to the score line. So boom, done, there's our cut. Then we're gonna turn this around and we're gonna go up to one inch, one inch, cut down to the score line, turn it around, one inch, cut to the score line. So now we have our impossible card base, okay? With our designer series paper, we have a piece that is three and a quarter by four and an eighth. And again, I start right in the middle, you guys. Put it in the middle, we are going to two and one sixteenth inch, and we're gonna cut from three quarters of an inch down to three and a quarter, two and a half. So from three quarters of an inch to two and a half inches, pick it up, then turn it this way, and we're gonna push it over to three quarters of an inch, and we're gonna cut down to that center cut line, turn it around, Put it at three quarters and cut down to that center cut line. And this is exactly what you have. Okay. Phew. All right. What are you guys drinking tonight? Oh my gosh. I have my strawberry lemonade. And it is delightful. Okay. So here comes our card. And now we take it and we go like this. So the last time we took this side and went like that. This time we're gonna take this side and go, oops, hang on, this side and pull it towards you and go like this, okay? This is going to be our card. Now the last one, our opening was over here. This time it's gonna be over here. Doesn't matter, doesn't make any difference. So this is gonna fit right in here. And hang on, I got glue sticking in the end of that. There we go. 
I just opened up a new glue bottle tonight because I was fighting with it. It's getting too low. This is so pretty. This paper is so gorgeous. I'm going to butt that right up against my fold line right there. And we're going to adjust this just a little bit to get those margins to look good. Perfect. Maybe not perfect. That's kind of a big word, isn't it? Stamping shouldn't be perfect. If you want perfection, buy a Hallmark. We are making homemade here. All right, and then... So I think I told you guys that my mom has been sick since we left. The day that we were leaving Norway, she got sick. She's still sick. I wanted her to go to the doctor on Friday, but, you know, she wouldn't. So she couldn't get in, and I think her lady, she could have gone to an urgent care, but she wouldn't do it. I think her lady probably wasn't available on Friday, but she's got an appointment tomorrow, and I'll tell you. They better give her something because she's been sick too long. <gasps> Look how pretty that is. It's so pretty, you guys. So, yeah, we're going to get mom all fixed up. Now, this is my panel for the back. This is what I'm, I'm going to write right over this tone-on-tone -tone stamping. We've got crushed curry ink with crushed curry cardstock so that I could write right over it. And instead of using white this time, I chose to use color, and I think that's going to look really cool, right? What do you guys think of that? Ah, uh, thank you, Cindy. Thank you, Susan. I'm watching. Oh, wow. that I know, Margaret. The paper is so pretty. Yeah, I tried this with white, and I just really felt like the crushed curry was just, it was like the cherry on top. It looks so pretty. Look at that. Now, this piece right here that we put on our um, front panel last time, this time we're going to take it, and we're going to put it right on the bridge. Ah! What do you guys think? Is that so pretty? Here's our matching envelope. And again, this folds flat and it goes right in our envelope for mailing. It's not too foofy. <laughs> That's a new word. Did you know that? Foofy. It's not too foofy. Isn't that so cool? And I would write on here, this is a hello, hello, hello. You're a great friend. And I would write on here, thank you so much for everything you do. There we go. So here's one. And here's the other one. And I've got all these fun little spriggy deals coming out. I used some different elements in the stamp set here. I brought in that um, Petal Park Builder Punch. I always love a flower punch. This one has a leaf on it too. We didn't even use the leaves. We certainly could have. That might have been a good idea with the lemon lime twist. But I just wanted to keep this a little more simple because we had a lot happening here. And then I'm going to write on this side. Isn't this so, so pretty, you guys? This, again, is called an impossible card. I didn't add any embellishments to this one because I think that it just didn't need any. Oh, you know what? I was going to put some more on here. Let me do that because I think that one needs a little bit of pop of color. This one has a lot of color going on. And I'm going to put one, oops, right there. These are the pastel adhesive backed sequins. And I just like that little bit of glitz going on there. And I think we'll do one more. How about right up here? Here we go. Little bit of bling bling, right? That flower I think is kind of perfect. What do you guys think? Pretty cool. Yeah, so if you came in here late, I have a class, it's a kit class, using the gorgeously made stamp set and the dies. Now there are three different ways you can get this class. You can get just the kit, all pre-cut card stock. You'll get a PDF file with dimensions if you wanna make more cards. Um, the uh, video tutorials for each one, there's four different designs and enough pre-cut card stock for you to make two of each. It includes the designer series paper, it includes linen thread, a wink of Stella glitter marker, and I'm trying to remember if there's anything else. It's on my blog, and it'll be under the description of this video as soon as I go back in and put it there because you know what happened tonight. So um, 
You can order just the kit if you already have the stamp set and the dies, or you can order the kit with the stamp set and the dies, or you can order just the PDF file. Those are all gonna be in the registration links on my blog. Pictures of this template will be on there also, so you can easily recreate this. I challenge you guys to make an impossible card. They really, really are not that hard. Take out some scrap paper, give it a try, you know, mock up a sample and find out how much fun this fun fold is. You know, I love me some fun folds, right? Okay, now don't go any place because I have to pick this up a little bit. I have amazing mail to share with you guys. But let me get this put away so I don't lose anything. We thought we lost our stylish shapes dies tonight, but Haley put them, instead of putting them in the front of my little bin there in, she put them in the back. We were freaking out. I'm like, no, I use those like almost every day. They have to be here. Oh. And there they were in the back. I'm like, child, you got to know where to put the stuff. <laughs> I don't mind. I always tell her, if you don't know where something goes when you're putting things away, leave it out. I would rather have it left out, right, than to not be able to find it because it's put someplace where I would never expect. She's really good about that. It's been fun having her here. And she gets a little break from the kids, too, which is really nice. Because you can't do anything when the kids are here. You can forget that whole nonsense. <laughs> right? All you guys, all you moms know exactly what I'm talking about. Yeah. Okay. Um, don't worry, Lisa said she just got on here and she missed a lot. Don't worry, Lisa, you can watch the replay as soon as we're finished here. These are our cards that we made. These are called impossible cards. They fold flat for mailing, but they are super cool. You write right here. It stands up on the table like that. This would be awesome for like if you're having a little dinner party. You could decorate these up and put somebody's, this could be their name place card. This one looks crooked. That'll make me crazy. Hang on. Kelly, you got to fix that. Not ruin the whole thing. There we go. <laughs> okay. And then this one is using the same paper, just different colors, right? Isn't that fun? And I used crushed curry instead of white for this part. Okay. It is time, you guys, to share the mail. First of all, let's start here. This is my new wand. Oh, it's lit up too. Let me see if I can get all these lights off. Hang on. Isn't that fun? <laughs> I love it. So that goes with my tiara. I got a set of three wands. These came from Priscilla. She's one of my team members. Oh, she is the best. And she says you can use a little magic right now. And boy, is she right. It made my day, you guys. So these are called Sky Letty, Sky, L-E-T-Y, Three Places Light Up Magic Wand Light and Sound Toy Wizard Wand. Whew. So fun. These are from Amazon. Thank you so much, Priscilla. Me and Valerie and Dawson are going to have a blast with all of those. Uh, let me turn my lights back on. Next up. This came from my friend, Sherry. Sherry sent me this beautiful card. Isn't that pretty? She embossed and did a little background stamping on designer series paper. And I just thought this was gorgeous. Like how she embossed it with the new um, brick embossing folder. But yeah, so she says, um, my birthday is the day after Dina's and we drove over to St. Augustine for the weekend. We went to a distillery and when I saw this shirt and thought of you right away, it, so that's, that's where the shirt is coming from. And of course she sends, you know, her best wishes for all the crap we've been through. But you guys, are you ready for this? Here we go. Just an old fashioned kind of girl. You guys know I love old fashions, right? And this is that softy material that I love, and I love the colors. Oh, so, so cute. Sherry, you're the best. I will be wearing this 
for sure. Love this shirt. Thank you so much. It's like the best, the best little surprise. And then um, I wanted to share with you, I got a box of goodies. I can't remember if I shared this last week. I don't think I did. This came to me from Deep Life. Oh, maybe I wasn't supposed to tell who it was from. So it came in the mail and she had some duplicates and she asked if I could re-gift these and that would make her feel better. I'm sorry if I wasn't supposed to say your name. God darn it. But you know, life's been hard lately. Anyways, we love you and thank you so much for sharing these with us. These are brand new and we will definitely give them a good home. Look at, this is a bundle. This is a bundle. It has all the dyes. Is that not crazy, crazy? This is so very, very generous. Yeah, so we will definitely be giving these a good home. Thank you so much for your extras. Okay, I have a team meeting this Tuesday, so if anybody decides to join my team, you will be able to participate in that. Oh my goodness, I give away so many fun door prizes. Not even kidding. But we have a blast. Priscilla is going to be demonstrating a fun fold card for our meeting. We'll be doing mystery stamping and uh, recognition for all the good things. Yay, yeah. Okay, so I have to set these aside. Hang tight. I'm going to share some cards with you. <gasps> Here's a beautiful one. This one is from Kathy Miller. Look at this sympathy card. Oh, so, so pretty. Isn't that gorgeous? That's that celebration paper, you guys. So pretty. Okay, hang on. I got to put these back in here. Thank you so much also, Kathy, for the gift. This one is from Kathy Williams. And again, thank you so much for the gift, Kathy. It was, you guys are so sweet. Look at how pretty that is, you guys. Isn't that just beautiful? She's got Wink Estella on these flowers. Mm, gorgeous. Here we go. Another one. This is from Lori Callies. Look at how pretty that is. It says sending hugs. So, so gorgeous. Lori, thank you so much. Thank you so much for the gift, too. It was greatly appreciated. Here's another beautiful one. Did I show this one to you guys already? I feel like I showed this to you. I think I did. But just in case, this was a celebration set also. This is from Nancy Schultz. I'm pretty sure I showed that to you. I know I did. Okay, so I'm going to show you these again really quick. This one I showed you, too. This was from Deborah Pico. You guys, thank you for the gifts. I'm going to thank you again, too. This is from Patty Grana. Yeah, because Steve felt this. Remember, that intrigued him. I totally remember this. Okay, sorry. I got these mixed up with my mail. Yep, we had Kathy. Oh, this is the kit. This is the um, paper pumpkin kit that Haley was working with tonight. Ah! I'll have to make sure I show her that. And then I showed you guys this one. This is from Elaine. Yep, I remember that. Sorry, you guys. These got back in the front of my bin. And this one was from Cindy. So let me get these. These have to stay in their envelopes. And I will get the rest of them going here. Here we go. Whew. Let me see. Was this one we already? Yep, we already saw that one. I don't know if we saw this one. Yeah, I think we did. This is from Lola. Lola, I think we saw this card already. Thank you so much. Absolutely beautiful. Then, oh, uh, isn't this gorgeous? I don't think we saw this yet. This is from Pat, no, Trish Flanagan. Sorry. Look at how gorgeous that is. I love this fold, and it's super easy to make, too. But isn't that so pretty? Trish, thank you so much for the card and the gift. Oops, hang on. Whew, Kelly's getting hot. It's getting hot in here. <laughs> Donna says she doubles orders all the time. Oh, totally. I told. I told her. Don't you feel don't you be hard on yourself? I do that all the time too. <gasps> 
Look at how pretty this is, Diana Sanders. Ah. Oh gorgeous. And then I wanted to share this with you guys. She put a gift card in here and that's just a strip of paper with glue under here that you can, here, let me show you. You can put a gift card in there. Isn't that cool? That's a really good idea. It just holds it in there. So if you're looking for an easy little idea, yay. Okay. Look at how pretty that is. Mm, love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Then this is from Sandy Hyson. Oh, look at how pretty. <gasps> Love this. So gorgeous. What a great layout. Sandy, thank you so much for your beautiful card and the gift. It was greatly appreciated. This is coming from Noreen Harrell. Look how pretty this is. Look at her pretty little envelope too. Isn't that gorgeous? I loved this stamp set. This was one of my favorite ones. Thank you, Noreen, so much for the beautiful card and the gift. Okay, here we go. What is this? Oh, look at that. Oh, it's a little card. God is never blind to your tears, deaf to your prayers, or silent in your pain. That is so sweet. Look at that. Look how pretty that is, you guys. Mm, beautiful. This is from Kelly Biller. Kelly, look at how beautiful her card is. Isn't that so pretty? Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you for sharing your beautiful card-making talent with us. Absolutely gorgeous. Then we've got Cynthia Bovat. I love this layout. Isn't that pretty? That is really pretty. Love it. Cindy. Cynthia Bovat. Yeah, from Vermont. I love your card. It's gorgeous. Thank you so much. Then we've got Beverly McGuire. Look at this one. I love the designer paper on here. This is really pretty. Very, very pretty. Thank you so much. So sweet of you. You guys are just like the nicest people ever. You know that. Where's Trish going? Tornado warning. Oh, Trish, I hope that doesn't come to anything. Look at this is just a strip of designer paper on the side of this big die. And isn't that just striking? It is so beautiful. This is from Susie Fonder. Susie, I love your card. Like, love it. Yeah, very cool. And then, oh, look how pretty this is. Very simple, but very classy. This is from Diane Baldwin. Very, very pretty. Love that. Thank you, Diane, very much. Next up, we have Cheryl Thomas. <gasps> this is certainly pretty, isn't it? Look at that. Oh. Gorgeous. Yeah, I love that paper. So pretty. Nice job, Cheryl. You guys want to see my whole basket? Look it. And there's more on the floor. <laughs> That's what I said. We are feeling the love, people. Like, so much love. Like, you know. I'm going, whoa, look at how pretty this is. This is from Susan Hendricks. <gasps> so pretty. I love the double panels on here, Susan. Thank you so much for your beautiful card. And this is another beauty, another sympathy card from Linda Fouts. Look at how pretty. I love this blue. And then it's embossed. And then that copper printed paper. Oh, so pretty, right? Thank you so much, Linda. Next up, ooh, look at this one. Hang on, I gotta open it. There we go. This is from Linda Shelton. Look how pretty that is. All these different embossed. <sighs> so elegant. Linda, thank you so, so much. The beautiful sympathy card. I'm getting so many good card ideas, right? <laughs> look at how pretty this is. This is from Polly Libby. I know Polly's on here. I'm pretty sure Polly's on here. I thought I just saw her name. Mm, so, so pretty. Look how pretty that is. She did a little bit of blending behind it with the blender brush. It's just beautiful, right? 
all these beautiful cards. Oh, look at this. Look at all those layers. Oh, Linda. This is from Linda Keister. She lives right here in Kakana, which isn't too far from me. Look at all the layers. That just is so stunning, right? Look at how pretty that is. Yeah, gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. I don't know how much time you guys have tonight. <laughs> I'm going to go through a few more. They're so pretty. This is very like um, simple as far as there's a flower with a label and just a layer, but it's so classy looking, isn't it? Beautiful. Trudy Hudson, thank you so much for your condolences. Here's another one. Beautiful. I like the layout on this one too. It's This part isn't centered on the card. It's pushed all the way down to the bottom and that looks very unique. I love it. Very, very cool. This is from Pat Mater. Pat, thank you so much. So pretty. Beautiful. Next up, we have a card from Cindy Watasek. Hang on, I gotta get it open. There we go. Look at how pretty that is with the new daisies. Gorgeous. Love it, love it, love it. And here's Rhonda McGuire. <gasps> Look how pretty that is. I loved this stamp set. It's got two different embossing folders on it. Can you guys see that? Ah, oh, so pretty. I love the saying too, sheltering you with love at a time when words fall short. Rhonda, thank you so much. Next up, we have... Andrew and Connie Han. Look at that. Oh, so pretty. Love that designer paper. You betcha. Thank you, Connie. Comes another one with celebration. This is from Christina Cooper Ryder. Look at how pretty that. I loved this paper. Some people didn't like this paper, but gosh, you gotta admit, these cards are gorgeous. I think it grew on people, right? <laughs> Love it. Very, very pretty. Okay, here comes some more. <gasps> Look at how beautiful this is. Oh, it's got glimmer all over it. So, so pretty. This is from Sarah Thibodeau. Sarah. Sarah always makes beautiful, beautiful cards, right? Yeah, beautiful. Thank you so much. Keep them coming, Joseph. Keep them coming. Look at how pretty this is. This is um, inlaid. Inlaid. It's very pretty. Whoops, hang on. This is from Deidre. No, Debbie Lindauer. Sorry, Debbie. I, I was typing a Deidre name earlier today, and that looked like Deidre, but it's Debbie Lindauer. Isn't that so pretty? Love that. Gorgeous. Oh, this is another great one. This is from Linda Miller. So watch this. Um, hello. Hello, little bookmark. Isn't that cool? It's just folded back over. Isn't that fun? Hang on. Here we go. Oh, look at that. I want you guys to know, too, that I read every single one of these. And... Your messages are so, like, comforting and sweet, and you just feel the love, for sure. You feel the love. Okay. Hang on. I just lost this. This is from Tracy Bazemar. And Tracy wanted to make sure that I got one of the swap cards from the catalog kickoff swap. Because all those cards go to Dina, and a few of you guys send me a copy too. So I really appreciate it. Look at how cute this is. This is Tracy's swap card using the new balloon bundle. Isn't that fun? You did a great job, Tracy. Thank you so much for sharing that with me. I really, really appreciate it. And let's see, here comes Polly Libby. Hang on, hang on, hang on. This is from our team swap. Look at how cool this is. Ready? Can you guys see that? <gasps> Look at how pretty that is. Oh my goodness. Do it one more time. Ah. 
Yeah, this is quite the little fun fold. I like playing with it, Polly. Thank you so much. <laughs> yeah, Kelly's just going to sit around and play with all the cards tonight. Yeah. Oh, look how pretty this is. This is also from Polly, I think. Yes, it is. She made, th uh, this is her new catalog kickoff swap card Polly Libby sent me. Look at how this looks like a little fence, like a crate. Isn't that fun? Very, very cool. I love this. This is a really neat card too. Thank you so much, Polly, for thinking of me. Oh, I'm going to put this back on here. For thinking of me and including me in your swap card. Love it. Okay, guys, ask for it. I'm going to keep going. This is from Kimberly O'Brien. Look at, oops, yeah. Here we go. Look at, oh, it's not, oh wait, I'm doing it wrong. Oh, hang on. I can do it right. I know how to do it. Here we go. Oh, look at that. Isn't that fun? Appreciating all you do. You are the best. And she says, thank you for all you do for our team. She really enjoys the video classes and I've learned so much in the past year and a half. Kimberly, I am so happy that you joined my team. I am just thrilled to death. You guys, you should join too. It's a lot of fun. Oh, look at this. This is my card. Ah, this is my, this is my stamp set, you guys. Look at that. So it says, thank you so much for signing my Friendship Royalty stamp set. By the way, if you guys want an autographed copy, you'll find information for that on my blog. Um, she says she also appreciated the extra surprise and she had to wrestle her grandchildren for it. Not telling what the surprise is. Use the ribbon on the detachable bookmark. And this is from Sally Millions. I think that's how I say it. And watch this. I don't want to wreck it. Oh, I think maybe I have to cut it. Do I have to cut it, Sally? Mm, maybe. Hang on. Here we go. Oh, I think I can cut it. So I wanted to show you guys. We got a new tool. Have you guys seen that little kit? This is our Take Your Pick Crafter Tips. This is a rotary cutter. This, like, cuts... Um, I'm going to see if I can use it on here. Hang on. Let's see. Where did my little, let me see where did my, um, piercing mat go? I don't know where it went. Let me grab a different. Hang on. I got one right here. Let's see. If, I'm going to see if I can cut this with this new tool. Okay. So this goes in our take your pick tool. This is where, yep, this must be where it goes. I haven't used it yet. I just got it. Okay, this is like a rotary tool. I'm going to grab my, get this out of here. Hang on. We're going to see this. <gasps> Sally's on here. Yay. Oh, it is perforated. She said it's perforated. Darn it. Oh, I see that it is. Oh, look, it is perforated. <gasps> look at that. So I have a bookmark. Where did that ribbon go? And I'm supposed to use, oh, here it is. I'm supposed to use the ribbon that she had tied around the card. And again, this is my Friendship Royalty Million Dollar Stamp Set. Use this ribbon to put on my little bookmark that came off the card. You are a genius. Look at you. Okay, ready? I'm going to do this. And I'm going to do this. This is so cool. Yay. Thanks for fixing my crown. Look at that. You were born to be fabulous, not perfect. This is so cute. Sally, that is awesome. All right, so did you use this thing to perforate it? Because I wanted to try this out. Let me grab a piece of cardstock here. Ready, you guys? Nope, I don't think that worked. How do I use it? I don't know. Oh, I think I have to do this. Oh, that's the... Okay, so it's got uh, um, uh, a cover so you don't cut yourself. And when you pull it down, then the blade is exposed. 
Oh yeah, look at that. <gasps> look at all that. It is perforated. Oh, this is gonna be so much fun. I can't wait. Look at that. Cool. And then you do, whoops, I don't know how to use it. You do this to cover up that blade so you don't cut yourself. Very cool. Okay, what else is in here? There's an X-Acto knife. And then, look at this. If you would like to clean your teeth, you've got a dentist tool in there. No, I don't know what that is. Um, it's a needle, it's a pokey thing, and then whatever that is, I'm not really sure, but I'll figure it out. There's probably directions in here. Don't do any dentistry. You have to have a license for that. Do not try this at home. A pick tip. Remove the interchangeable tool tip from the small little blah, 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 use it, blah, 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 angle it covered. Blah, 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 blah. Huh. Rotary, pick tip, and a hobby blade. So I guess that's a pick tip. I don't know what I'd use that tip for. Certainly not going to clean my teeth, I'll tell you that. Um, I wonder why this doesn't... Oh, there we go. Okay, so look at that. All right, let me put this stuff out of the way. Okay, guys, I'm going to show you a couple more cards, and then I have to start taking pictures and get my blog post done. <gasps> Look at how pretty this is. I love it. You did it. You're amazing all you do. Thank you for your guidance and patience and inappropriateness and laughter and story time and sharing your family. <laughs> Sandy Heisen. <laughs> Thank you, Sandy. You are so sweet. Oh, my gosh. That is too cute. Um... All right, you guys. I think we're gonna we're gonna shut it down right there. I gotta put this. I'm gonna use this in my catalog. So thank you so much. That was so cool, Sally. How fun that card was. Okay, you guys. I'm gonna shut this down tonight. And I do have more cards, but I will share them next time. We'll have lots and lots of mail to share. Wow, right? Do you, are you guys feeling the love? It's crazy how much love I feel. Like I'm I'm not kidding at all like this is whoa right yeah um thank you so much again for your well wishes um all of all of the people who have been contacting us and sending us prayers and condolences and um just the fact that you're thinking about us just means the world to both steve and i and the kids the kids <laughs> the poor kids Haley said something the other day and she wasn't being like snotty or anything. She was being funny because we are a pretty funny family. And she said, am I going to have to be like the peasants and buy a summer pool pass? And now, please don't be offended. Peasants don't go to the swimming pool. It was just a funny thing. But isn't that funny? Like, yeah, I think we're all going to have to buy pool passes. So the kids are like kind of they don't know what to do in the summer because that's what we do. We it, it, it's hot. You come over, you come over to our house, right? And we've always enjoyed that. So now we're going to enjoy it in the 13 foot round, three foot deep swimming pool until we can have otherwise. And we will be grateful that we were um, that we could get that swimming pool. And we will be grateful that our swimming pool will at some point be fixed and up and running, right? Exactly. All right, you guys, I will not be live next week. I will be um, at a wedding. I'll be in San Diego. Um, I'll be back the following week. And if you're on my team, don't forget we have a team meeting from 6 to 8 p.m. Central Time on Zoom. No matter where you are in the country, you can join the meeting. It's going to be lots and lots of fun. Everybody who attends the meeting live gets entered in the door prizes. So um, don't miss out on that. And uh, thanks, you guys, for spending your evening with me. I just, there's not much I'd rather be doing. <laughs> Have a good week and a half or so. Two weeks? Yeah, we'll see. Bye, you guys. Thank you.